Hello everyone, I'm going to record a little video here showing how to use a new feature in 3.9.0 which is basically a link between the AI and the um, breadboard. So if we want to create a behavior in the breadboard, we pop in the breadboard behavior link behavior into the AI and we go into our breadboard and it can be as simple as this. So <clears throat> this is where we are defining a position um, in universal coordinates that our vehicle will go to. Now, if we don't want to define it in universal coordinates, we can define it in standard coordinates. And our AI is going to fly off and move to that different location defined in standard coordinates. Let's do it in universal coordinates. And we can also set our second input, which is the total distance of the trip, which is an estimate of how far this position actually is away from us. So let's update this a bit. We need our actual position in universal coordinates. And then we can put these into a, um, a maths evaluator. Where we go. Uh, And it's not A, it's not that, it's something like something like that, I believe. Yes, yeah, so we're 290 meters away from our position that we've ordered it to go to. Now, so we, we pop in here the position we want to aim for um, in a coordinate system, which can be defined here the distance that that is away, and the rotation we want to uh, look at when we get there. So let's think about doing that. We can have a, a maths evaluator and create a from, we can create a, a quaternion using from Euler. So we're going to look to the right hand side. If we don't want to put in an actual rotation, we can put in a point that we will look, a direction that we will look in, or a point that we will look at. So we could put in the position of our enemy target there if we want. Some optional things, so we have a priority, which could be useful if you have various modes within your behavior and you want to just leave most of the logic alone, but change the priority of, of this writer in comparison to another writer. And then this is for adding an additional rotation. So if you wanted to be always pointing your guns at your enemy, you could set a, a quaternion that would rotate your, your rotation by 90 degrees. So I just had to make a little fix there to the code, but here I have, I'm exhibiting a problem here, which is that it's not actually solving the yaw. And the, and the problem with that is that this maneuver uh, uses velocity instead of forward by default, which basically um, means that the velocity of the vehicle is used to kind of adjust the forwards direction. Um, fixing that or turning that off can fix the problem. So if I set the um, derivative time down to know, something sensible, um, I can now get it to solve so that the um, azimuth error is being solved to be zero. I can actually remove that, it still works. Um, remove this input, I mean, these extra paired inputs. Now, uh, for completeness, I can probably do something with the um, elevation as well. The relative elevation, and go in there and be solved to be zero by doo -doo 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 -doo. By doing this. I don't want that one. I want this one. That's the propulsion input. Right, uh, pitch. Yeah, okay. So, um, what's the advantage of this? Well, quite a few major ones. One, I can select my vehicle and order it around. And it will use the maneuver. Oh, this is quite an interesting case, actually. Um, 
and sort of allows me to demonstrate another another little module that I was working on. We just told it to go very, very high, and the pitch has gone very, very high, or the delta pitch, and then it can't actually go forwards when it's like that. Let's see if we can fix that then. So how about we take a clamp now? We could then take the absolute elevation, put it through a clamp that goes from minus 20 to 20, and take the orientation input, select pitch. There we go. And maybe uh, mess around with the flipping of that. So we're trying to get to minus 20. And there we go, something like that. So now, Let's see where we are. We're going to be miles away from our waypoint, and I'll tell you why. Because we don't actually control in our breadboard the propulsion yet. So let's do that. Create a new maths evaluator, and we're going to take this thing, which is the, the position sort of relative to us. Now it's saying it's all forward. So how about we take a dot y there dot z, which is the forwards backwards axis, and we're just going to put that into a PID controller. So there's 100 going in. We want it to solve for zero. We want to be zero degrees in front. Sorry, zero meters in front flip the PID, delete its output. We're now asking to go forwards um, and we will gradually be working towards our location. Um, and the other thing we can do is take a mass evaluator, take again that local position, which will mean that a dot x is basically how much we need to strafe by. Uh, and put that into a propulsion component for strafe. So let's see what a dot x is, minus 20 meters. There we go, something like that. Uh, let's see if we need to flip it. Looks like maybe we do. Yep, okay. So now we're strafing to stay on target as well. Let's see uh, where we are. Yeah, so that looks about right. It might do something dodgy when it reaches its location. Um, and that's, you know, some of the things that um, we can work on, you know, we can build into our breadboard to fix those sorts of behaviors because uh, we actually receive distances as an output as well, the distance to our location and the entire trip distance as well. So that's quite neat. So going back to what are the advantages advantages of this? It it this um behavior can respond to fleet move because that would actually, sorry, these breadboard written AI things can respond to fleet move mode. They respond to um, waypoint mode. Um, if we turn them back into its behavior mode, now we're again sort of reading from the actual behavior. And one other nice thing here, let's see if we can get this to happen, I'm going to spawn a gotha on our team. Our vehicle is actually avoiding the gotha using its um, collision, avoid you know, the collision avoidance routine that is built into the AI system is now going to take effect. which wouldn't, would not, well, that would be kind of impossible to achieve in a breadboard 
written the way that breadboard AIs have been traditionally written, which just ignores or overrules the, uh, the AI system. So now we've got collision avoidance, and that will extend to move, you know, tanks moving around on land, trying to stay in water, that kind of thing, or ships avoiding uh, hills. The whole adjustment system still works. So between our breadboard behavior and our breadboard maneuver, we still have our adjustment system actually happening, adjusting those waypoints. And we can visualize our our waypoints uh, in as well. So there we go. I can see in the pathfinding view where my waypoints are. Uh, if I go back into auto mode, I can see that's the raw breadboard breadboard provided aim point there. So that's the one coming out of coming out of the breadboard. Uh, at this point here.